I've got here. I have got some acrylic presentation blocks. And what I plan to do is to use my focus gauge at 20 millimeters. So let's do a pulse and see what happens. Now we'll move along the shade. We'll set it to 19. And we do a pulse. We can see the effect of the laser going out of focus here as it gets too close. This was one millimetre, two millimetres, three millimetres, four millimetres, five millimetres away from the surface, six millimetres away from the surface, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen I think, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and twenty. So there's a classic illustration there and I think we can see that the usable focal length is probably one, two, three, four, five, six and seven millimeters. That's where the laser beam is the narrowest, at about six and seven millimeters. So from looking above, we will now look at the penetration effect, see how the power changes as the, uh, as the focal length changes. And there we go, that's how much penetration you're getting. So we've got, uh, again, one, two, three, four, five millimetres is maximum penetration. So as we said before, five and six millimetres. So four, five and six, you're going to get the maximum power. And then it drops off quite dramatically as you start moving away. And this little piece of plastic they supplied me as a focus gauge looks to be about 6.5 millimetres. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.5. So it's, it's in this region here. Looking at this, I would say with my air cut, I could even get as deep as maybe 12 millimetres. So I don't know what depth of cut we can actually get, but we could test that with this same piece of kit. We could run a line across here and see how deep we can get a line. Before I can do this test, I think I should have to go and write a program for a series of lines that run at different speeds so that I can put stripes across that block at different speeds and maybe with different air pressures as well to see what the effect is. Well, here we go, we're going to do a, a bit of a speed come depth test. At the moment we're going to run this first test without any air at all. So we've got uh, seven lines across here which start off at 35, drop to 30, 25, all the way down to 5 millimetres a second. So the chances are we're going to get quite a lot of smoke out of this, so we'll have to wait and see. This is not dangerous stuff, this is just very smelly. Go. So I have got another block, very similar dimensions. So I won't change the focus. It's 2 psi. And we'll run the same test again.
reduce the gas flow to 1 psi. the pressure up to 3 psi. Uh, now bearing in mind that the laser is supposed to be focused about six millimeters or so above the surface of the work, this particular impression was at 20 millimeters. So it's only 14 millimeters away from the ideal focus point, but it's basically lost nearly all of its power. Um, and the, if you look carefully, one of the great advantages of firing a beam into acrylic acrylic vaporizes directly proportional to the power. So if you take a look at this picture you'll see there's a little pyramid in the middle indicating that there's not as much power in the middle of the beam as there is just around the outside of it where there's a donut which is even deeper and then the power disappears as it gets out towards the edge of the beam. Here's 18 and 19 um, as you will see, things are starting to get a little bit more uniform. The centre loss of power is not as obvious. Then as you move down to 17, 16, 15 and 14, um, you can see that the, uh, the beam is becoming more concentrated. And here we are where the beam is really necked down to virtually nothing. Now it's starting to go up and get bigger again as we get closer to the work. Now on the right hand side here um, the head was one millimetre above the surface which really meant that the beam was focused at about five millimetres into the material and you can see that as the beam is that close you can clearly see the shape of the beam its curvature heading towards the neck that we described in the theory as you start moving towards the left you can see that as the focus point goes up so the necking goes up as well so when we get to number five right on the left hand side we've got virtually no necking at all and that's where the parallel ish point of the focus is Now as far as our beam penetration tests are concerned, um, quite interesting results. Now the red and blue lines on this graph are more or less the same depth of cut. Um, the red line is 1 psi of air, just enough to keep the, uh, the gases flowing, whereas in fact the higher pressures of 2 psi and 3 psi do have an effect on the depth of the cut. As you can see, it's approximately a millimetre regardless of where you are in the speed range. Now bear in mind we were only using about 90% power so if we were to whack the machine up to 100% power we might be able to get 9 or even 10 millimeter cut in acrylic. The width of the cut didn't seem to be seriously affected by the air pressure or the speed and remained fairly constant at between about 0.35 and 0.45 millimeters wide. When I started out on this Chinese laser adventure um, a week or two ago, 
Um, there was a certain amount of trepidation. Had I spent my money wisely? Um, was I going to be disappointed? Was the machine even going to work? Quite a few people had problems getting software into the machine and getting it to work properly. Um, I'm glad you've come along with me for this adventure um, because it has been very, very interesting and I've been remarkably surprised by the, uh, the quality of the engineering and the value for money that I've got. I mean, without the aid of the manuals, we've been able to struggle through most of the issues. Um, we've still got a lot of learning to do on the program, the software side of it, but uh, to be honest, although I was a bit sceptical of that fairly um, Mickey Mouse piece of software to start with, um, it's turned out to be quite reasonable and fairly simple to use. There's a lot that I've got to discover um, and as I do that I will record what I'm doing and allow you guys to follow as well because hopefully my instructions will be a little bit better than the Chinese manual. So thanks for joining me and coming along for the ride and uh, I hope to speak to you soon.